in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves the cheerful giver. And that means I'm not giving because, oh, it's that time I put something in. Uh, an example that the Lord brought to mind for me this morning is uh, um, if someone tells uh, you know, a little one, oh, go give her a hug. Maybe it's go give grandma a hug. And they go, oh, all right. And they go, give you one. You got the hug, but it didn't do a lot for you. Yeah. But if they come up and go, oh, grandma, and they give you a big hug, oh, it does wonderful things inside. Or a mom, you know, it just does wonderful things inside. And that's what it is for God. When, when we give him our tithes and our offerings with a cheerful heart, it means so much more to him. But, you know, we're not giving it to him because he needs it. We're giving it to him because we need to give it to him. Um, in Andrew Warmack's book of daily devotions, he has um, a little paragraph I want to read to you. It says, if God wasn't real and his purpose of multiplying back to us what we give to him wasn't true, then giving away a portion of what we have would be stupid. However, God is real, his word is true, and giving shows faith that he will fulfill his promise. So the real reason God wants us to give is so that we can walk in faith with him concerning our finances. Amen. So it's our opportunity to be a cheerful giver today. So, Where's the food? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is food for God. 